Kirkunla would do with us on the number seven seed. He won his event, at the, his home event, the Thailand Open a week ago. And he waits the winner of the match we are about to watch. Anthony Ginting is the defending champion. You saw he was the number two seed. Let's in fact, Ginting has been players. in two finals here, but won Let's last year his first title at this event. So it is young Christo Popov of France who leads out the two players. And um, what a cheer and reception for the former world champion, Lokin Yu. Well, a big moment for both these players because for Christo Popov, it is his first second round match at a Super 750 event. Improving all the time is Popov. Here he is, just 21 years of age. Actually became the national champion, age 17. So this will be a first meeting between these two players. Not surprising because Christo Popov has not been able to get into this elite tier of tournament because his ranking hasn't been high enough. Well, very, very interesting that Loken you won the toss of the coin and chose to serve. I'm very surprised about that. Immediately, Popov said, well, I'll start this near side, which we all believe is the more difficult end from which to play. So I was telling you that he's only 21, born in Sofia, the capital city of Bulgaria and now lives in Fossumer in southern France. And he's uh, a tall man, 179, that's five foot 10. And his ranking has been going up and up. And he's gone back up to his uh, career high of 35. He had one week at 35 at the end of May. And now on Tuesday, back up to that 35. So second week in total. A beat uh, Misha Zilberman of Israel in the first round in just 37 minutes. And I, for one, think he's hugely talented. He's only the second European ever to reach the final of the World Junior Championships. The first man uh, to do that from Europe was a certain Victor Axelsson, who is the current world and Olympic champion. Lo Ken Yu will turn 26 later this month. He was born in Penang in Malaysia, but uh, moved here to Singapore and gained citizenship in 2015. He actually went down one place on the world ranking to number five this week, but did spend eight weeks at number three. It's his sixth appearance at his home Super Series or World Tour events and he was a semi-finalist last year lost out to the eventual champion Anthony Sinisuka Ginting uh, played extremely well against Lee Chuck Yu who was in the final of the Thailand Open last week came from 12-17 down in the second game before winning it 21-19 so nine of the last 11 points Jakob Sinberg of Denmark is our umpire for this one and David Evans will be the service judge David Evans from England. So what an occasion for young Crystal Popoff. Well, he's already showed he's a class player because he's gone to three games in the past against players like Ginting, Pranoy, Laksha Sen. And even Victor Axelson, I remember, in the Thomas Cup in Aarhus, if I remember correctly, Steve, went to three games against Axelson. Yeah. I think, yeah. Was there when he got the cramps? Yes, it I was. I think it was. Yeah, he is definitely one of the players that has suffered from um, Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID on my right, Christo Popov, France. Um, 
And on my left, Sun as well, he's just recovered Singapore. a bit quicker. Lishi Fong, all the ones from that um, junior year. So it is the number four seed, the former world champion, the home player, Lo Ken Yu, far side of the court as we look down. That gets his second round match One underway love. against the left handed Crystal Popov. one of the most athletic players on the whole world tour this man and just watch the one elevation on this jump smash look at that he's a very exciting player to watch i can tell you Well, he looks a little nervous to me, Steen, this man. Yeah. It's understandable. Playing on home soil. Oh, that may have been going wide. That's certainly gone wrong. Two, three. Good deception on the service return there from uh, Crystal Four, Popop. Two. of air coming out of the mouth of look in you that's always a sign somebody's nervous because he's not tired yet i can assure you of that good shot seven two Play. Yeah, it's an excellent rally from Crystal Popov. Yeah, it, it's, it's Popov who's controlling Eight, the rallies two. at the moment. In my opinion, one of the development points for um, looking you to get um, better shot quality. Relying a lot on his um, speed of movement retrieval abilities Nine, two.
good net skill. Oh, he changed his mind. I think Popov was going to leave that, don't you, Steen? Yeah, exactly. And then it had already fallen too far. When he changed his mind. Oh, top of the tape. This isn't really playing out according to the script, is it? Not if you're a Singapore fan. Look at you. In 11 3, the advantage to the young French player Christo Popov. a stunned silence around the Singapore indoor arena. His father, his coach. Thomas Popov, former Bulgarian and French national player. 11-3. So, Steam, what has Lokan Yu got to do here? I mean, he's he's so he looks so nervous to me. He, he is not playing his normal game. He looks as if he was just expecting to win. Uh, Rallies at will, that's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. Um, Popov is um, playing clever, controlling the rallies. I think it's going to be difficult for uh, for looking you here because that, that's his playing style. He's relying on his net game and his uh, retrieval abilities and then uh, going into counter attack. But, but I don't see a particular game plan here. No, there is no game plan. It's and he's playing from the better end, and he's 13-3 down. Yeah. Um, first of all, deceptions on the uh, service return, uh, both 13, long and short. Eventually, um, more short than long, and putting Popov under pressure. And he's not at all able to do that. He's being put under pressure. 14, yeah. Three. So I actually think that uh, he's much more suited for slow playing conditions. Um, looking you, uh, I think we've discussed it earlier that, that he likes when he can, under pressure, just play it off to the backcourt. Here he can't just play it off because the attacks from Popov, they're going to be fairly lethal playing with the drift. And he has a lot of variations with that left hand there. Well, I can't help but remember back to the Denmark Open last year, Steen, and um, I seem to remember Lokan you beating Victor Axelsson. First round. No, it wasn't the first round. Wasn't it? No, it was the quarterfinal. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, but they were. Uh, Victor Axelsson complained that the conditions were too quick. Yes. So obviously, Lokan you enjoyed playing in the quick conditions. Now you're saying. Uh. I don't He's think he enjoyed it. I just think Victor Axelsen hated it even more. Okay. Oh, that's why. Seven, seven, 
The thing, the thing that he's going, got going for him in, in um, fast playing conditions is, is his uh, speed of movement, his pace. Yeah. But if there's no control in his shots, if he's just leaving initiative to his opponent, then it doesn't really uh, help <laughs> if the opponent can uh, keep producing good shot quality. And here he's getting totally outplayed. Yeah. In the first game. So let's well. see if it, it if it helps in the second, where he plays with the drift and must take a more aggressive approach. But right now he seems like uh, a deer in the uh, headlights of the park. Five. In English, we say the rabbit in the headlights. The rabbit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> We don't direct, have direct we Danish <laughs> translation. We don't have that many deer in no. running around in England. Maybe in you Scandinavian countries. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, another mistake. Yeah, th there was some of it, but then a mistake. 18, a, a big mistake. He's not under pressure. He's playing it into the opponent's backhand side. That's just not good enough. Had a little think about it, decided not to go Six, over. 18. But the thing that, that is puzzling to me, that's gone wrong, is that he beat Lee Yu yesterday, Six. who was very good at playing in drifty conditions. So this goes against all of this that I suggest that, that, that um, he doesn't really have the game plan for it. Oh, great reactions from Popoff. I wouldn't have been surprised by a scoreline of 20 points to six, but what I'm surprised about is that it's not in favor of Luke and you. First game point goes a begging. Well, he won't win that challenge. I saw that as clearly on. Clearly long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Seven. Twenty. But lots of credit to Five. Christa Popov for putting a lot of good shots together in the rallies. Missed it. It's going wide as well. And surely it's too little too late as far as local news is concerned. Nine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they seem to climb a ladder up to that one. Ten, twenty. I think you were right, John. I think he was on top of this very very nervous and it didn't go away it got worse as Popo played well yeah and now it's loosened up because it's, it's it was so bad it was almost unbelievable it's gone wide and this time 
pop off against the point required in the opening game. 21-10 confirms the umpire. Just 16 minutes of play. Extraordinary. Former world champion has somehow got to relax those nerves and play like we know he can play. Well, the home fans are desperate to see a difference. Loka knew right now, different to his performance in the opening game. Oh, well, my goodness me. Starts with a error on the low serve. Crystal pop off to the second game. things that could help low here on the near side of the court is that it's it's obvious that you have to have initiative you have to attack so there's really no other option sometimes when you play up against the drift you think to yourself oh i can play the back court i can lift yeah you can but you shouldn't on certain occasions to keep your opponent honest, so to speak. Three, one. Wow, that's fabulous. That's the sort of shot we have come to love from Loka and you. Yeah. Four, one. Left from the base position position in the center of the court to play that smash. Oh. Do you know when Popov served into the net on the first rally of this second game? The nerves have stayed on the far side, you think? Well, no, I just not what I thought, but I did, I did sort of think, crikey, we could have a very quick shift in momentum here. Yeah. Pushed it on. Uh, it's, it's super important. I like the things that he's doing, Popo. By keeping the net, but it's super important that in the next one or two rallies, he's got to sort of flick it over low, so he's not always going for the net, otherwise it's too predictable. There it was. Nice.
Remember I said in the opening game that Lil Ken Yu looked to me as if he felt he could and should, more importantly, should be hitting winners at will. Yep. That's another shot where, yep. to me, he wasn't on balance properly. And he the, couldn't get enough angle on it and it's he got a punished. Shot. Yeah, it's a terrible shot. You can't expect to, to play easy winners. Surely he knows that Crystal Popoff is one of the most talented youngsters in world badminton. Finds the line. That's a super shot. Set for Six, five. If I were Crystal Popo, I would give it a lot more height to Lowe's forehand side and then play it flat to his backhand side. Jumps into, um, jumps back to his forehand side, even though it's flat. Then these crosses come, and they're really lethal. There, he's extremely strong looking. You. Just Mr. wide. That really was lucky, Eight. wasn't it? That smash from Popov crept over. Whoa! Sat there for an age. Deception. Indeed, it was the longest rally. Yes. Nine, 
Eight. I think the nerves is also making him a little static. Look in you. Just not reacting no. quickly, not as he usually does. But you've got to hand yeah. all credit to young Popov. That's another thing in, in defense, in, in Lowe's defense, he uh, likes to be able to pick up long, which is normally a very good thing because a lot of players uh, are coming forward, but. But you also have to have that short defense, the short Nine. accurate defense oh. in your repertoire. Uh, it's, I think it's a lot to do with shot quality. here in Singapore as Loka New gets to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage here in this second game. Oh, my goodness. He's having to work hard for this. Desperately, desperately trying to control his nerves. I think one of the things that could uh, 11, played into the hands of Lowe Play. now is if uh, Christopher Popov gets ahead of himself and, and starts attacking too much. Uh, he Set just needs right. to control the rallies. He doesn't have to go for the winners. Ten. In fact, if he goes yeah. for the winners, he might be counter-attacked. That's what Lowe is so good at. Yeah. Challenge, challenge here you from Lokin Yu. I thought, thought it might have just clipped the line. Uh, it's close. And here we go. What does the instant review say? No. Clearly not. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 11, Yeah, just use your foot. Just your foot, that's okay. It's not much. Thank you. Oh, can just use his foot to scuff away the perspiration that's on the court surface. So 11 all. See now that Popov is, is not totally ready for the shuttles to arrive a split second early on his court. 
Doesn't have the same touch as he had in the first game. Good lift. Tentative on defence to me, no can you? Yeah, this is all the uh, shots, the last two that I would expect him to um, to be able to get back. That's well, what we've seen when he's played his best. Yeah. No, no. Check that. Is well, to add well. Loken Yu to his list of higher ranked players that he's already beaten, list including Ginting Pranoy well. and Lakshya Sen. That would be very impressive for the 21 year old Frenchman. Well. Looking to I, I saw it in for an extremely long period. Oh, that's no! loose. That was so loose, and Crystal Popoff unable to take advantage. Yeah, Thomas getting angry on the chair, throwing a plastic bottle to the um, ground. So many third shots where he's been a little bit late here in the second game, uh, Crystal. He was a little bit early in the first. How oh, many errors, unforced errors, has Lothian made today? He's riddled with nerves. I think so. Goes down as another run forced error. <laughs> was that verbal celebration from Lo Ken Yu, or was that somebody in the crowd? I think it was Lo Ken Yu. Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness me. That is more signs of the nerves. Good shot. Nice. Oi. So, <laughs> fabulous rally. Seven, seven. 
just terrified of playing anything towards yeah. the back of the court. The Singaporean. A little bit more here. In the front. Yes. That was directed to the middle of the court. His last shot. Okay. Been so reluctant to lift. 18, with the drift. No! That's pure nerves. 19, 17. Two point advantage and two points away from causing a major upset here at the Singapore Open, Crystal Popov. is concerned um, where were his attacking smashes like that 18, earlier in the match 19. I can only remember two or three outright winners like that yeah. if I were Christian now I would play it into the net and follow up directly ready to kill it from the top of the tape saves. Yeah, he's pointing all over the court uh, well, he looking you because he was he was all over the floor. Yeah. Several dives. This one. Okay. That, that's that. that's absolutely that. crazy. <laughs> so 19. 19. Oh. Well, that rally is certainly the play of the day so far for me. off the last shot that he played great awareness 
Fantastic rally. Got to lift in the uh, opening stages by looking you. There's the change of pace. Beautifully done. And Christo Popov has now earned himself a match point opportunity. Extra points required until it's a clear two-point winning margin. Yeah. And you can oh, see drama. Paul Paul is nervous as well, jumping up and down. Yeah. That's going wrong on the back line. And has saved a match point opportunity. Now the former world champion, Loken Yu, has an opportunity to level this second round match at one game apiece. to pounce 20, and he took it well 21. a second match point opportunity for Christo Popov yeah wrong choice of shot he knows it his coaching chair at the moment of victory. Christo Popov of France defeats the former world champion Loke Nyu of Singapore. And still Loke Nyu thanks the fans. He must be bitterly disappointed. Uh, Loke Nyu always conducts himself in such a sportsmanlike way. This is the final rally. The moment of victory. And Christoph Popov through to only a second World Tour quarter-final, a first ever at a Super 750 event. Look at the delight. 21 10, 23 21 in the second game. In a simply thrilling encounter. Well, despite the disappointment, still time for his fans. This is so good to see, taking the selfies as well. Look, and you. A, a wonderful character he is. But Christo Popov uh, really is going from strength to strength, and he'll be in the quarterfinals tomorrow.
But that's uh, all our second round action for today, which started at 10 o'clock local time. And the reigning and three-time world champions, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, too good for the Ansad sisters, two straight games in under 30 minutes. Uh, then it was uh, Kodai Naraoka, who has been in four World Tour tournament finals, but still looking for his first uh, title. That was two straight games as well against uh, Rajawat from India. Then it was the battle of uh, two former world number ones in the men's doubles, and it was the former world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi, uh, that beat Gideon and Sukumoli. And look at the scoreline in that second game, 21-9. Really very little resistance from the Indonesians in that. Then it was a women's singles, and Toon Jun was beaten by Tai Su Ying, the four-time finalist and two-time former champion here. Tai Su Ying, two straight games. And then it was uh, a welcome return to form for Anders Antonsen. He's won two World Championship medals in the past, but he's been out for so long with injury. Beat the 2018 champion here at the Singapore Open, Cho Tian Chen, in two straight games. Then it was women's doubles and the beaten finalists five years ago, Matsuyama and Shida. Uh, that was our first three-game match of the day against the Asian Championship bronze medalists, Kiri Harakun and Prajong Jai. 21-16 in the deciding game. Then there was a big upset in the mixed doubles. The two-time defending champions and three-time finalists, Pua Varunukro and Tui Rat Tanachai, uh, beaten by Christiansen and Boya of Denmark. Two very close games, as you can see, 51 minutes for that one. Then it was women's singles and the Commonwealth Games bronze medalist Yo Min of Singapore was really outclassed today by Anse Young, who has already been in seven finals this year from seven tournaments played. And that was over, just over the half hour mark. Then it was men's doubles and the gold medalists uh, from the Asian Championships last year beat the silver medalists from the Asian Championships this year. It was uh, On Yu Sing and Tio Yi who came out on top beating the former Asian champions in two straight games. And then as we've just seen, Christo Popov, the young left-hander from France beating the former world champion, beating the uh, home favourite here, Lo Ken Yu, in two straight games. So quarterfinals tomorrow, it's a little bit later than today, 12 noon local time, that's 0400 GMT. So from all of us here, and especially from Steen Peterson and myself, Jill Clark, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.